Rui Lopez opening, martial attack, modern variation, 12.d3bd613.re1. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. A6 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. BA4 safely retreats the bishop while keeping pressure on the knight. NF6 attacks the undefended e4 pawn and develops the knight at the same time. Castling gets the king out of the center and prepares to develop the rook to e1. b7 develops the dark squared bishop and prepares to castle. 1 rupee centralizes the rook and protects the e4 pawn. b5 gains space on the queen side and forces the bishop to the b3 square. bb3 is forced, but the bishop is well placed because it attacks the f7 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. C3 prepares the d4 pawn push, opens up the c2 square for the bishop and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. The light squared bishop can advance and the e4 pawn is attacked when d5 invades the center. x5 captures the d5 pawn, attacks the knight on c6 and allows the e1 rook to attack the e5 pawn. Nx d5 recaptures the d5 pawn and centralizes the knight. Nx e5 captures the pawn and places the knight on a strong central square where it attacks the knight on c6 and the f7 pawn. Nx e5 captures the knight on e5 and centralizes the knight where it attacks many important squares. Rx e5 captures the knight on e5 and attacks the knight on d5. c6 defends the knight on d5 and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This is how you win a bishop's favor. That is good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. Getting that bishop is winning strategy. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. Backs off. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. 
it is best. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This disregards a superior method of expanding a bishop's range by shifting it to a better square. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is a missed chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. This stops the opponent from being able to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. That's fine. It is good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.